After years of being in the group, 21-year-old Nurta Mohammed Hassan can finally afford to smile. I did not join Al-Shabaab willingly. Rather, I was hijacked by mean-looking men and driven out of town to an unknown destination. Where I was tortured and without any option left, I joined the group. She and 33-year-old Hawa Ibrahim Ali were rescued by officials of the United Nations Assistance Mission in Somalia. I was responsible for searching and screening women for Al-Shabaab. I used to carry the weapons for them. Nurta was not allowed to contact her family while they held her captive for three and a half years, while Hawa's brother was killed by Al-Shabaab gunmen. Both tactics are normally used by Al-Shabaab to force their victims into compliance. Now the two women are part of a rehabilitation program funded by the United Nations. The uh, situation in regard to female disengaged Al-Shabaab started in 2013, 2014 when the first female Al-Shabaab started disengaging in Bay Region. Uh, there are currently free facilities catering uh, for male disengaged Al-Shabaab in terms of the national program for the treatment and handling of uh, disengaged combatants in Somalia, but nothing that makes uh, provision for females. There are currently three facilities catering for male disengagement from Al-Shabaab in Somalia, but there's little support for female ex-fighters. This is one of the first safe houses to be established in Baidoa for seven female ex-combatants and 21 of their children. The center is expecting another group of about 10 female ex-fighters. UNSOM's plan is to establish three or four safe houses in the next year and expand the program to other regions depending on the need and the number of disengaged female combatants in the rest of Somalia. Individuals who escape from Al-Shabaab have to undergo security screening conducted by the local National Intelligence Security Agency. Those deemed as low risk are allowed to join the program. Those deemed as high risk require additional special interventions before reintegration. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.